Hello and welcome, I'm Ari Lax, and this week we've got a bit of a nice one. So, Shadows Over Innistrad, uh, the ban restriction announcement for Modern, uh, has been the thing a lot of people have been talking about for the last month or so, but in reality the set is just loaded with good cards for the format. Uh, and here we feature uh, a bit of an old standby that's now kind of just like flooded with Shadows cards. Uh, there's 11 of the 60 cards are from the deck. And that is Dredge. So, the big gain uh, from Shadows Over Innistrad for Dredge is Prized Amalgam. Uh, this card, so when a creature enters the battlefield uh, from your graveyard, or if you cast it from your graveyard, really the first one, you get back Amalgam on your next end. So, uh, with Dredge, when you mill your Narc Amoeba, when you landfall your Blood Gas, you get a free 3-3 with it. So really easy just to get a bonus large creature out of the deal. Um, then we have Stitchwing Scab, which is pretty much perfect, um, not only for Dredge, uh, but also just like with Prized Amalgam. So uh, we've got a decent threat that you can cheaply uh, cast from your graveyard that puts your Dredge cards back in your graveyard. Uh, if you ever have any issues with them getting stuck in your hand, this just solves it. Also just a creature that comes back for Amalgam. Uh, pretty excited by this one. Then the last Shadows or Innistrad card, which is really the thing that makes this all tick, is Insolent Neonate. So, uh, Hapless Researcher is a card in Legacy that's seen a decent amount of play. And in Modern, Insolent Neonate is uh, not only better than all... Like, you know, Hapless Researcher in Legacy has to compete with a lot of options. You know, you have Caref uh, Careful Study and Faithless Looting and Lion's Eye Diamond and Cephala Coliseum and Breakthrough and all these other crazy cards. Neonate's just the best one in Modern. Uh, best of this effect, just instantly dredges. And kind of importantly, if you look at the draw discard cards in Modern, they're all red. Uh, and Neonate is just another red card, and it helps your mana base not have to be quite as crazy as it could be, though. As you'll notice, this is a very heavy uh, mana base for five color lands uh, with Gemstones, City of Brass, Mana Confluence. So we've kind of established the base of the stack. We're drawing, we're discarding, we're using the dredge mechanic. Uh, so you draw Golgari Grave Troll, you put your deck into your graveyard, basically. And you just kind of build this huge graveyard and do all this stuff. So um, the list I based this on off Magic Online only had eight dredgers, which in my mind is crazy. Or sorry, nine with this. But it, I don't really count Dakmore Salvage as a dredger, honestly. So it felt a little light. I added a Golgari Thug over some of the... Um, Less creature-y, graveyard-enabled cards. Uh, and I think that should be enough because you have to dredge into more dredge cards to keep the engine churning. Though Stitchwing does help a little bit with that. Um, I think that that will help a little bit. I really like the use of Goblin Lore here. Um, so in Legacy, you have Breakthrough in a very similar slot where you never want to cast Breakthrough as your first uh, dredge enabler. Uh, barring some weird situations, you're like not really relying on discarding your hand and then drawing naturally out of it with dredge but it's just the single best card you could cast after you've already started dredging off um goblin lore is very similar it's just draw four cards which translates to dredging about 20 ish cards usually a bit more uh faithless looting obviously just the best card in this deck one of the uh secretly more well more powerful cards in the format that uh often lacks for a home just the card filtering with flashback is absurd, and then the fact that the cards you're getting rid of go to the graveyard often. Uh, this is very similar to like one mana draw two, discard one, uh, or just like draw two with upside. Let's see, Dark More Sal Dark More Salvage, uh, a necessity because of Blood Gas. Uh, this nice little mix of other graveyard enable cards. You know, main deck Vengeful Pharaoh, Gnaw to the Bone, Dark Blast as a dredge card that does something. And then my personal favorite that I also bumped up a copy of, Rally the Peasants. So, this is a effectively red card from your graveyard. You flash back for red mana. And if you make, you know, a couple of Dark Amoebas and a Blood Gas, this is plus six damage or whatever. And that's, I feel, is kind of important in uh, taking this deck up a level in terms of making it uh, powerful enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of the other non-interactive decks in the format. So moving to the sideboard, um, realistically, I'm going to avoid sideboarding if possible. I don't actually think that... So, and Legacy Dredge struggles with graveyard hate, 
and all the good legacy graveyard hate is legal and modern. Uh, I don't actually think Dredge is going to be a competitive deck if graveyard hate is common. However, I would like to try this deck out and see how powerful the main deck is and what can make it tick a little smoother so that when those times come up where graveyard hate is light, you can dredge to exploit it. Uh, so, looking at the sideboard, uh, there's a lot of just hedge cards. I like Ancient Grudge because it deals with, uh, you know, Affinity and Lantern and other nonsense pretty well to this deck. Uh, Ray deals with some other random nonsense people do. I'm not really looking to try and fight Rest in Peace with this or, you know, Tormod Script with this. The fact that you can, I guess, is a thing, but realistically, you're just going to lose with those cards, so whatever. Um, Memories Journey to fight Mirrors. Uh, there's just... A bunch of random cards uh, from the list I copied it by, by Manoa, I believe, 5 out of the League. Um, some ways to interact with creatures that go along with the plan. Twisted Image is just a fine magic card, says draw a card for Dredge. I like Is It Charm as a way to board that kind of flexes your deck, also base red. Um, just a lot of little things. I think the sideboard, uh, after playing, I think that it'll be kind of obvious to figure out, you know, well, I can't really fight the graveyard hate, maybe. So it may as well board cards that are good against this archetype or stuff. So uh, that's really what I'm hoping to learn is, can the main deck stand up to the rest of the format? And does the uh, what does a sideboard need to be uh, able to fight decks that might be able to outrace you as is? That's about it. It's very possible I should have Tormod script, honestly, because if this deck's good, other people are going to be playing it.